Hey, what's the song you're humming? Um, I think it's that new song by Sam Hunt. Well, it must be hard to forget. Yeah, it kind of is. No, I mean like the song's name is hard to forget. Oh, yeah. Is that hard to forget? Yeah. You know, come to think of it, our chapter is kind of hard to forget. Why is it hard to forget? Well, let's go talk about it. Bureau Valley was formed in 1995 with the consolidation of six small school districts, which serve 10 villages. Our school district covers 340 square miles, over four counties, and three area codes. In 2005, we became the first school district in Illinois to construct a wind turbine. Our 351 students live by the motto of unity, excellence, and pride, which makes us hard to forget. Our chapter boasts two advisors and 144 members between the high school and our newly started junior high program. Since our district was formed, we have had six state stars, two state proficiency award winners, and were named the top digital scrapbook in 2019. We have also been named a three-star chapter at the national level two years in a row and are competing for the title of premier chapter in the area of strengthening agriculture, in addition to the model of excellence. Bear Valley was also a pilot school for the Mycogen Turn the Bag Blue and Gold program and was able to participate in it both 2018 and 2019. Hello, my name is Bree Brewers. I am currently serving as the Section 3 President, and last year I served as Bureau Valley's Chapter President. My SAE is Dairy Placement, where I work and help out on my family dairy farm. Hello, my name is Tate Barons. I am currently serving as the Bureau Valley Chapter Vice President of Growing Leaders. For my SAE project, I run T2 Cattle Company, where we breed and show Shorthorn and Hereford cattle. Hi, my name is Madison Vick, and I'm currently the Bureau Valley FFA reporter. My SAE is taking care of my rabbit at home. In the area of growing leaders, etiquette extravaganza dinner, FFA versus staff basketball, planting potential, books for third graders. The three parts to the FFA mission statement are personal growth, premier leadership, and career success. Prospering in any of these areas often require the use of proper table etiquette, as well as having the ability to conduct yourself properly in a formal setting. To meet this need and grow our leaders, our chapter hosted our etiquette extravaganza. The officer team coordinated the dinner at a local country club and hired a professional etiquette instructor to share some wisdom with all Green Hen FFA members, as well as members of the Home Ec Club and the Cooperative Education class. For many of the green hands, this is their first chance to wear official dress. For others, this may be their first time dining in such a formal setting. I think it is such an amazing opportunity that our FFA chapter offers for students because it is teaching you skills that will come in handy and it makes it an experience that takes you out of your comfort zone, which makes for a night that is hard to forget. There is nothing better than a little friendly competition. And the FFA faculty basketball game is a perfect example which promotes healthy lifestyle. Students had the opportunity to face off against the staff in a game of basketball. Senior FFA members served as the FFA team coaches and recruited the best squad from the chapter had to offer. To tip the odds even more in our favors, members of the basketball team served as the officials. This event is something the entire student body looks forward to whether they are FFA members or not. My favorite part is whenever the crowd went wild whenever I stuffed one of the teachers. This event is my favorite because this allows the FFA members to be active and it is also a really fun time. It is also a really great way to get people excited for FFA week and provides an atmosphere and competition that is hard to forget. To help grow leaders, we implemented our Planting Potential program where we read a book to third graders during FFA week. After consulting with the elementary school staff, our officer team chose to read Farmer George Plants a Nation. We chose this activity for its scholarship benefits and to help get kids excited about agriculture. To accomplish this goal, the officer team obtained permission for members to visit the third grade classrooms over a span of two days. 
In addition, each student received a copy of the book with a personalized note from each FFA member. This is an awesome experience because we got to show third graders a small glimpse of what being a Bureau Valley FFA member is like. It was amazing hearing all of them say that they wanted to be an FFA when they were older, which to me was pretty hard to forget. With this, we were better able to educate the future of our FFA program and hopefully the future of agriculturalists. In the area of building communities, here by the flag, tractor truck, be free, building bikes for better. To build our community, we started our Here by the Flag program. Members noticed that the flag was not being raised and lowered at our school properly and decided that it needed to be corrected. As a result, a member reached out to the Flags of Freedom Committee, which is a group who oversees four large flags near the Princeton exit on Interstate 80. Two of their members were invited to speak at our September meeting, which took place last year on 9-11. At the meeting, they spoke about flag care and what the flag means to our country. To further expand on this, two to three students signed up each week to raise and lower the flag before and after school. It's hard to forget how when being taught how to properly do these things, all of our FFA members were silent and contently watching as these older men took their time to explain just how important the detail in doing this was. Our efforts were rewarded by many community members who took notice of the colors being properly presented. This is important to me in my FFA chapter because FFA is about leadership and being respectful of things that need to be done. It is about paying attention to detail and putting things at your top priority. This went very well because we always had a group of members to go out and take time, even in bad weather, to be respectful and pay attention to the detail. And this will definitely be an experience that is hard to forget because of the values it teaches you. Last year, our chapter partnered with the local Farm Bureau Foundation to host a tractor trek, an annual tractor drive through Bureau County to raise money for the Ag in the Classroom program. Our members coordinated with the executive director and decided to serve a breakfast of biscuits and gravy, which got some pretty rave reviews. At the event, members were able to establish relationships with many of the tractor ride participants. This even resulted in the donation of an Oliver 77 for our chapter to restore. Many of our members had the chance to converse with some vintage tractor enthusiasts and soaked up their information like a sponge. We were able to educate the riders on our program of work and with full stomachs, over 75 happy riders took off for a day of traversing Bureau County. To me, this was a great way to interact with the community and get them familiar with our faces. I feel like this was beneficial because we really got to show the community that what we are doing matters and that they do have a big impact on what we do. Our FFA chapter was able to acquire a large number of bicycles from a local Walmart right before Christmas. Our members saw this as an opportunity to partner with a local charity organization who operates a non-for-profit resale shop. This became known as B3, Building Bikes for Better. Members of the chapter during their AGMAC classes gladly assembled the bikes in a matter of days. Through the resale shop, through the resale shop, they were offered for sale and found their way under many Christmas trees. This event made me count my blessings and make me thankful for living in such a wonderful community. Not only did the bikes impact the children who received them, their sales also generated revenue that was donated direct, directly back to the community for improvement projects. For all the members and families impacted, it was a Christmas that was hard to forget. In the area of strengthening agriculture, Graduation, Operation Silo Situation, Farmer Jason. The 2019-2020 school year finally saw the Bear Valley Ag Department achieve a goal that had been set a long time ago. New construction on campus brought the district junior high to the building, and an 8th grade exploratory program was formed. As the first group of students completed their 9-week course, a need to recognize this historic moment sur surfaced. We wanted to come up with something that would be hard to forget. Just like that, graduation was born. With the new addition of an eighth grade agriculture course to Barrow Valley Agriculture Department, we found the need to reward our students for their accomplishments throughout the quarter.
The students work diligently to complete projects like their soil salmon, coloring FFA emblems, and learning about different types of animals and, and agriculture. We hope to celebrate these accomplishments with graduation in order to spark an interest for the high school FFA program. This event has built a large interest in both our FFA and agriculture courses. The students received a certificate and walked the pomp and circumstance. Our hope is that they will continue their interest in agriculture. The feeling of accomplishing something and being rewarded with a ceremony, just like high school graduation, is something that is hard to forget. After several local tragedies in our area, our FFA chapter identified a need for a grain bin safety campaign. Great minds must think alike because shortly thereafter, we were contacted by the Farm Bureau and a local elevator who had identified the same need. Working with these other stakeholders, we decided to host a screening of the silo movie, followed by a grain bin rescue demonstration for not only our FFA chapter, but also local farmers, elevator workers, and EMS crews. At the demonstration, several students, including myself, were actually able to be trapped in the grain and rescued by our fellow FFA members. At first, they let you try and wiggle yourself out, but with the weight of the grain, that was very, very difficult. Then, they brought in the rescue tube panels and began putting them together to get me out. The grain was all the way up to my stomach and made it a little difficult to breathe. After some long minutes, they were finally able to pull me out. Once I got out of the bin, they had me look at my legs to see the indents from the corn. It was crazy how big they were for only being in there for a little over five minutes. It was a big eye-opener for me. You always just hear about what it is like for other people, but experiencing it yourself is a whole new ballgame. This was a great opportunity for us as kids, as well as local farmers, to get a real grasp on the dangers of being around or in grain bins and what they can do to help others. All in all, everyone present agreed it was a night that was pretty hard to forget. To increase ag literacy and strengthen agriculture amongst the preschool students, BBA partnered with the Brainstorm After School program to host Farmer Jason. This event was a concert that was mainly aimed towards a younger audience to get them interested in agriculture. Farmer Jason sang catchy theme songs and danced as much to the excitement of the youngsters, such as Punk Rock Skunk. Punk Rock Skunk! And the tractor goes chug, chug, chug. Chug, 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 chug. Our FFA members joined the preschoolers on the dance floor. And at the end of the night, we surprised Farmer Jason with some BB FFA swag. The night was topped off with some animals from the students to interact and several ag theme displays. Enthusiasm to the FFA members with me, hard to forget. The last year has been full of trials and tribulations. And we have overcome many obstacles. It has been a year that will be easy to remember. And when it comes to being a model of excellence, Bureau Valley FFA is hard, hard to, to forget. forget.